Political tensions are sweeping our nations, and social justice warriors and their darker, more disturbing counterparts are using ever more aggressive tactics. It's a recurring theme in the US, Canada, the UK, but even now in Ireland. Now, whether you're on the left or the right, or pro-choice or pro-life, you should all be concerned about people demanding change on issues they don't seem to know anything about. Indoctrinated by a leftist education system, and when faced with very simple questions, they tend to react with confusion and hostility. This week, I went to Dublin to see how the feminist movement was doing across the water. Today is International Women's Day, and we're here in central Dublin at the Strike for Repeal March. Now, thousands of young people have come together to protest against Ireland's Eighth Amendment, which restricts abortion. We're going to be going around, we're going to be speaking to people, and we're going to be finding out exactly why they're here. Let's go. So, what does your sign mean? Uh, my body is not just for, like, some to be... Biologically, the uterus is a vessel. Do you think there should be any restrictions at all on abortion? No. Any restrictions or any new types of laws? No. No one. No, it's her body, her choice. Absolutely not. I think it's personal choice. No, no restriction at all? No, I think you should have the choice. Do you think there should be any restrictions on abortion? No. What about a week before it's born? No. A day before it's born? No. So you should have it. You can have an abortion a day before because it's your I choice? I think you should do whatever the hell you want. You're doing it for fun? No other reason? No reason. Can a woman choose to give up a baby and have an abortion a week before the birth? Oh no, obviously like not before there's consciousness. But When does consciousness start? In the third trimester, not the. Uh, we just want to know what um, cis and trans has to do with abortion. Um, that's the eighth of March. Well, in the UK, out of every five pregnancies, there's one abortion. Do you think that Ireland should follow suit in the same sort of way? So if it's not if it's not born, then it's not really a person yet. So if someone has an abortion a week before it's born. There's nothing wrong with it. Well, it's a bit morally iffy, but like that's not us. To, that's not for us to say, and it's not for the law to say. The law shouldn't have a right. The children don't want to have an abortion. But what in my video? Are you aware of what the Eighth Amendment is about? Yes, there are two people with a pregnant woman. No, there are two people, but there's one dependent on the other. So just because someone's dependent on something, does that mean that they can decide if they live or die? If someone's dependent on the state, should the state decide whether they live or die? The state shouldn't decide anything, and that's what the state's doing here. Oh, there we go. I have no idea. Okay, that's interesting. You don't want to talk to us. Another group of people who don't want to engage in a sensible debate. So do you think there should be any restrictions on abortion? Um, I do not. No. No? Towards the end of the rally, I managed to convince a member of the Irish Antifa to speak to me. Now, Irish Antifa are a particularly notorious group after they violently attacked Pegida, effectively banishing them from the country. I wanted to find out if its members actually supported the violent and fascist behaviour they seem to prescribe against anyone they disagree with. I so, mean, we've been seeing Antifa attacking women at the Berkeley riots and pepper spraying them and doing all these things. Yeah, the Would you support that? Because you've got an Antifa flag. There is, there is a tolerance to sort of my support for uh, left, like left wing action. We're committing, uh, committing acts of violence, pepper spraying people, punching Nazis. It's actually hilarious. I find it very funny. Like, the violence or? I find it hilarious. Like especially when Gavin McGuinness from the rebel media, when he oh. got pepper sprayed, I thought that was fucking brilliant. Say again? It's the free speech. If you silence free speech, you silence a debate. Yeah, no, they... they <laughs> They can do all that violence all they like. It's funny that we're not going to look down on people for uh, where they were born, what religion they're in, and all that kind of piddling But you crap. look down on people by what beliefs they have. This is what happens when we allow ideas to go unchallenged. Thanks for watching. If you like that and you want to see more, then click like and subscribe.